Lance Thomas looked good to go tonight. He looked really good. Ennis Cantor continues to be a beast, but we thought the first half of Tim Hardaway Jr. was so outstanding, it deserves another look. 19 points in the first half. It was great to see. It really was. And he's going to have to be, I think, without Kristaps Porzingis, the leading scorer on this team. He's going to have to bring it every single night. He's going to have uh, flurries and spurts like this. He had 19 points in the first quarter and only ended up with, uh, in the first half, excuse me, only ended up with 21. But you love the aggressiveness. For him, it's important to get to the free throw line. Seven free throws. Can't always just rely on long range jump shots just bombing away because right. that's going to come and go at times and we've seen that with him but when he attacks the basket gets to the free throw line and gets some easy buckets and helps his teammates get some easy buckets that's when he becomes more of a complete player and when he becomes a complete player and complete scorer he's really tough to stop because he can set up his jump shot with his drives and vice versa he can set up his drives with his jump shot now obviously for the Knicks one of the question marks about the roster is who's going to shoot threes they were not a good <clears throat> three-point yeah. shooting team last year they didn't prioritize it it's a big part of today's game Tim started out three of five from downtown was three of eight but the Knicks overall not very good from three at seven for 31 so they're still gonna have to figure out who can stretch the floor who can shoot those threes but Hardaway is one guy that can meanwhile it was a rookie-ish kind of night for Kevin Knox he he didn't do much in the first half. He missed a breakaway dunk in the second half, but we pulled out some of the best in the third quarter, right in the middle of a Nick 8 0 run that helped take control of this game. Well, it happens, and especially when you're a young player, you're going to have a, a, a tough stretch in the first half. And he didn't play great, but he did other things in the first half, which was really good to see. And this is what I love about Knox. He continues to be aggressive, he continues to shoot. And I love the coaching staff giving him opportunities yes. to play through missed shots and mistakes. Look at these finishes around the basket. There were a there was sometimes he drove to the basket, ball went in and out, but he's getting good looks, and that's key. When you're a 19-year-old you're rookie and you can get 19 good looks up at the rim, that's a credit to his talent. It really is. This guy is not just a one-dimensional player, not just a shooter, not just a driver. He can do both. He can set up both with, uh, with, with, with the other one, and I really like what I'm seeing out of him because he just looks comfortable out there on the floor. The game comes easy to him. This is his first couple NBA games, and he looks really comfortable like he belongs on an NBA floor. And what did he say Fizel told him in the first preseason game? He said that just focus on defense and rebounding. The rest of the game will come around for you. He was 0 5 from 3. But he had 10 rebounds mm -hmm. in this game. Yeah, he also had great. two steals in this game. So make sure you're Fill doing other things well. if you're not shooting the ball well. And he certainly did that tonight.